game, huh? So I'm starting with two different types of tool. It comes like this. It's um, I only have six yards, so that's a problem um, because most of the tutorials I see are using like 10 yards for a child, and this is going to be for me. So a little bit last minute. It's like 10:30, and I need this uh, for the 5K I'm doing in the morning. So um, we're gonna wing it. But it's okay. So I'm looking at this and I think she said she wasn't quite sure how long it was. She thought it was like maybe 50 inches. It looks like it's about um, the bolt. You know, she didn't know what the bolt was, but it looks like it is about 50. 1, 2, 3, right? 20. If this is 24, 25, 26, 27. Twenty-seven inches. So that's. Did I make? Fifty-eight inches. No, oh, fifty-eight inches. Okay. So I have this color, which is a fuchsia. It's hard to see because of the uh, it being so light, and it's folded in half. So this is like two. And then I have this as well, which is a more kind of a soft magenta, whatever color. Um. Whatever, whatever color. Desert rose, who knows. Um, and then the piece de resistance. Um, I have this, which is, or was very, very expensive, but I loved it so much. So I only have, I wanna say a half a yard. I mean, originally it's like $30 a yard, and then it was on sale, and then I had a coupon, but it was still like probably the most expensive fabric that I bought this little half yard, because I usually just get like whatever's on sale. Like this, this was like four yards for three bucks, or three yards for four bucks. But um, I have an idea for this. See, it would be ideal if I can use it like this and see this beautiful pattern. But realistically, I think that would be too long anyway, right? Because it's a half a yard, right? So it's like, eh, maybe she gave me a little bit extra. It's like 19 inches. Maybe she gave me like an extra. Um, but um, if I did 19 inches at this point it's going to be longer than my skirt anyway so what we're going to do is i'm going to i'm going to cut through the pattern i'm sorry but it has to be it's what it has to be um so yeah so we're going to go 10 and we're going to go nine and a half inches that'll get me to 19 so nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches <sighs> but I have an idea for that so um, it's gonna be on top so all right I'm gonna try to get this done as quickly as possible so let me put this away for now and we're gonna start with the tool okay so the tool like I said it's already what I'm gonna do is fold it into quarters. I want it. I want it in four quarters, which is hard to do. Um, I hate when you discover that they cut it crooked. Shh. Okay. I'm not going to let that deter me. Let's see which has the best pattern. Okay, we're gonna line it up with this side then. Nine and a half, right? Did I say nine and a half? I did. So this will be, oh, I should do nine since it's not. Okay, so nine, right? Yeah, let's just do it. Rip to that flower.
it'll be fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. And we're gonna go. <laughs> Jeez. How did she cut this? It's all right. Everybody's doing their best, you know? Everyone's doing their best. You know what I should have done? I should have made it longer in the back. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Yeah. That'll be fine. It's as close as far as gets. Right? You know what's important? I don't even care. I'm gonna keep it even, Steven. There we go. <laughs> See? Oh, gosh. Why, 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 why? to get that over with because I wouldn't have done it if I kept delaying so it's okay it'll be okay need that until the end. Let's get ready to sew. I'm just gonna start sewing. All right, so I'm just swapping out the colors. I have a kind of pink, but as far as the bobbin goes, I'm using like lavender, and that's just gonna have to be okay, because that's what it is. Like, snaps in, boo da boo, boom boom. Excellent. Put that in there. Throw this on the side. <sighs> stress relief. We put the stress relief over here. He's a squishy cat. And we're going to put this on slow. I'm going to do a straight stitch. Yeah. And I really don't know for two what I need to be on. So we're just gonna be like on one. Okay. All right, so what I decided to do, I have like a, a way um, I think that's gonna work. And it involves first stitching the tool together in quarters. So what I did was, you know, it was already folded in half. I folded it in half again, so you see like this is doubled and then three four and I'm just gonna stitch the length of this first and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other tool so hopefully 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 it's a lot more even Actually, I'm gonna go through it and clip it together first because I'm getting the heebie-jeebies so I you know what No clipper. Just sewing. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Then this I'm just gonna sew really close to the top. It doesn't matter. All of this will be covered up. Really, I just need them more manageable. <coughs> Excuse me, which is what I'll get if I sew it all together. So it's worth the step. Okay? Okay. Oh, that's so slow. <laughs> Reverse it. And 
working? Okay. All right, we're gonna turn it up, and I'm just because it's just a straight stitch, really. And as long as I keep um, keep it folded in half, relatively close, uh, it should be okay. All right, let's go. I'll get back to you when it's all done. All right, so I'm just finishing up the second one. So now I have that all done and I have this all done. So, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? The next part of the sew. This is going to be my waistband because I don't like when, when you can see the elastic through the tool. Um, so I like this. It's, it's a little bit wider than this, so I have to stay very close to the edge, but it should be real good at making a canal. And I got to stay very close to the edge. And this one again, go forward. And the elastic will be hidden inside this channel, but I still don't want the elastic to show. Coming to the end of it, a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Um, and maybe I, I should have done it with the ribbon down and the tool side up, because it's hard to keep the tool from slipping around. Now at the end here, basically kind of where it almost runs down, I'm just gonna start the other tool. So I'm just gonna line it up pins in these things. There's pins in these things, I tell ya! And for a penny and for a pound. Now it's already under there, so I don't have a choice. Gotta continue with the under treatment. And we're just gonna overlap a little bit and keep going. Be back once it's done. Mr. Winchester. Um, Mr. Winchester. Hi. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to pin this. I can't pin it while you're sitting on it. <sighs> Mr. Winchester. Please. Please, Mr. Winchester. Dean. Okay, why? Why, Dean? Please, Dean. It's 12 o'clock. Come on, D Dean. Stop. Come over here. Oh, boy.
Thank you. together now. Right. He does not like this noise. <laughs> okay, so this I'm making this channel that's gonna have the elastic in it. So it's pretty cool. It's coming together. This top one, and then there's this one. This one's gonna have lace on it. Just gonna line it up. Start sawing. That's right. 